bags of trash right Yo, 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 The reason this was bullshit because I'd been gone for four months shooting a Sony movie known as Man from Toronto. Quarantined by myself, lonely and depressed, I wanted a welcome home committee from my best friend, Mark Donor. So I decided to set it up myself. Mark! Hi, I'm Pearson Fode, and I'm an influencer. A lot of you have been asking about my daily routine, so here it goes. I drink coffee in the morning to wake up, a little Adderall while I'm trading to keep me focused, CBD to take the edge off, and then more coffee to keep me going. Uh, then I take sleeping pills at night because crippling depression and anxiety. Also, I do take all those things, so please don't cancel me. Hmm. Did I mention I have a smoke show with a girlfriend? Hmm. Water. It's disgusting. Get it away from me. Did I just do the poor man's version of Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, it sucked. Okay, let's get to my intro. <laughs> oh, welcome back. It's 2021, and 2020 was a fucking rough year, but we made it through it. Three, two, one. Started a vlog. The vlog got 100,000 subscribers. And lit! On top of that, I shot a movie with Kevin Hart, Man from Toronto. Check it out, September 17th, 2021. And I made a TikTok with Kevin Hart. Please. Seriously, I'm just... Now let's do the one where we do the three pretty best friends. <laughs> it's, right? bro, it's two pretty best friends. Three pretty best friends. I'm gonna yeah. go first. Yep. I'm known for my mouth. <laughs> I'm, I'm nailing it. This is gonna be a movie that changes my life forever. I'm going into pilot season with a ton of heat right now, and so I cannot wait to see what happens next. And on top of that, I'm making my own TV show. That's what this vlog is. This is a mini TV series. So why not do it the way I want it, script it the way I want it, talk about the things that I want to talk about, rather than the things that everybody else is talking about. Why not make something unique and special? Kind of like Pearson Foday VIP, which is another accomplishment that we had this year. Yo, what up VIP? Heads up, we're doing a Zoom call, 10 a.m. this Saturday, PST. You better be there, 10 a.m. Also, we're dropping the VIP vlog Friday, 10 a.m. Get ready, it's a lot of exclusive content that we couldn't show online live, but we can show it inside of the privacy of VIP. I'll see you there. Yeah. Also, the rise of the piercings. Yeah. I couldn't be happier about all the stuff that we've accomplished together and created together over 2020. So let's take a quick look into memory lane because it's an inflammatory response. Very dry. Audience has spoken. They want you in the pool. They did run up the license. Alright, I'm Dick from Jesse. Can you do it? Oh my god! Are you one of the boys? Oh yeah! Nobody can catch me. Aha, uh -huh, Mark. Please. Comment below on. Saxon still has the thing for Jake Paul. Oh! 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 What is all he needed? It's kind of a big deal. I'm <laughs> 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 I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen in 2021. But from the last vlog till now, I flew back to LA for like a day. Then I flew back home, I shaved my brother's head, made a puzzle, celebrated Christmas with the family, flew back out here, we went to <laughs> Saxon's friend Paris' birthday party, and then got trapped in the middle of Palm Springs, and then made it back out here and continued to grind. We're back on the stock market grind. Honestly, I'm excited to get back into 2021 and create a whole different version of the vlog that it was and turn this into what is now the vlogumentary. It's a mockumentary about vlogging in my life. This is a behind the scenes look into being f ridiculous. Do you think if I whip my ween out, they'll pick me up? Mm. If it was a group of girls like Saxon, yes. Shut up, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, roasted. Uh, 
I don't think they wanted the nipple. So what the f is this? This is my story from moving from small town USA, Moses Lake, Washington, to the big city of Hollywood and to try to make my dreams come true inside of the entertainment industry and the douchey, insta-famous influencer world. But really, this is just an all too transparent retelling of the incredibly rich, young, and ruthless squads that I've infiltrated. So. Hey, I'm reading up with you. You don't have enough followers. Oh, yo, sex and rain, I got two mil. Are you serious? Cut the camera. Stop, stop filming, stop filming. They broke up. Ah. That was perfect. Oh yeah, that was a bit. They didn't actually break up, they're making out right now, but we're not gonna show that because sex. It's crazy having all these followers, you know? A bunch of girls are like after me, so you're like really lucky. Thanks, yeah. yeah. Hello? Hey, babe, I just bought a million new followers. I now have 2.1 million followers on my IG. Oh, awesome, okay, bye, Mike. <sighs> Fuck yeah. Mm. Mm. Yo, yo, Mr. Beast, can I get a shout out real quick? Thanks, man. Wait, did you say yeah? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I pledge allegiance to the millennial motto. I'm an entitled narcissist with victimitis. I will struggle to ever get a mortgage, blame the generations before me for f***ing up the world, and never lack the need for a soapbox. But still appear on social media like I am on an endless vacation with a year-round tan. Thanks, Valencia Filter. I'm not mocking anyone more than myself. I, too, use social media for validation, boredom, more validation, and to get laid, and sometimes, validation. But it's time to pull the curtain back. This show is about deconstructing the beast that we've all helped create. Douchebags on the gram. Is here a quick reminder to put my photo in right here. In fact, 95% of this show is based on my story, my friends, and my vapid debauchery. So please, enjoy some self-depreciation and millennial slang. Hashtag yee. Did we get the take? I think you need to say lit. Lit, hashtag lit. Is that what the kids say these days? Yep. Or Hash flames. Flames? Flames. Ha hashtag flames. Bet. Hashtag bet. Hashtag B-E-T. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong show. <laughs> Look at all that dirt. Smells like poverty. Hi, I'm Pearson Fode. And for three to ten million likes a day, you could help feed this Instagram model's stifled ego. Stifled ego. And maybe she'll start an OnlyFans and uh, send me a bunch of pictures, so please subscribe to her, OnlyFans, and subscribe to my YouTube channel right now, and maybe I'll play with her boobs. Okay, yeah, maybe I won't do that. <laughs> He's never done that before. That is untrue. Literally last night, <laughs> we were making this. All right, let's, yeah, there you go. Let's natural. Yeah. Natural, okay, okay. Go ahead and take your shirt off. Take, take my shirt off? Yeah. Like this? I'm not an influencer. F you, dude. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. Today's special guest is Mark Donor. Hi, thanks for having me. What's it been like having your famous movie star roommate go off and shoot a movie? Being alone for 2020, the worst year in American history. I'll tell you what. At first, I was stoked. I was like, hell yeah, I'm living alone again. <laughs> like, I lived alone for a year. It was awesome. Yeah. And then about a month in, I was like, oh god, I'm lonely. <laughs> Once the, I think it's called the Black Swan event happens, where one major stock like Tesla starts to go down, it'll cause a massive sell-off in the entire market, which could happen this week. Comment down below if you trade stocks. I'll put my E-Trade link in the uh, in the bio. You guys can all sign up on. Do e -trade. you get like a free stock if they do that? I think the, yeah, I think I get like 50 bucks or a free stock. Yeah. I'll do E-Trade and Robinhood. You can pick which one. Wait, Mark, quick talk to the camera. Catch this call. Pearson's gonna go talk to his girlfriend, who he is non-stop and hanging out with since he gets back. All I hear okay. every night is. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, Mista! Mista! Mark, sit back down really quick. I got you a gift. This is for you. The ego on this guy, he just has him, his his freaking face painted everywhere. Mark, this is a show that I was on, and also I just, I went and had this laminated just for you for being such a good roommate. My roommate is so humble, so modest. I signed it, and then I had Victoria Justice sign it as well. So what people don't realize is the ad revenue inside of the vlog and influencer business has actually surpassed traditional entertainment by billions of dollars. Um, Stefan Cherry just invited us to a party. Do you want to go? Who's that? He's got like 8.64 million on YouTube. Fuck, let's go. Hey, can I come? 
Why? What do you guys? Uh, I need followers, and I honestly, we'll do anything you want to be in the blog, and like your blog, and just any. Do anything you want. Do literally. I anything. mean, she already does a lot for me, so like, what can you do? Anything that she doesn't do, like to satisfy you, I will do because I need to be in these vlogs. Nobody sucks my toes. I will suck your toes literally right now. Okay. Cool. Good start. Yeah. Honestly, really like it. I'll take eighty percent of your channel with a sunset clause and the contract can be signed on the way there. I know none of that cool. means, but I'm down. Okay. I know I was just told that we can't show you any of the behind the scenes at Steven Scherer's house. So when the music video drops, then we'll show you. Good luck. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was just busy working on it. Anyways, I want to tell you something. In 2018, digital ad spending reached $209 billion worldwide. The world watches over 1 billion hours of YouTube videos a day. That's not including the hundreds of other outlets millennials feed off of mainly TikTok right now. YouTube also boasts more 18 to 49 year olds than any other broadcast or cable TV network. Side note, did you guys know that OnlyFans made over $2 billion in 2020? God, I would just love to see how much you guys would pay for my feet. All right, that's it, you're out. 2020, yeah, f you. Uh, 2021, please don't suck. The seven day trial that we've had so far has been absolute garbage. <clears throat> I don't want it anymore. I want my money back. Let's go. To, let's just go straight to 2022. Daniel Middleton, AKA Dan TDM, who I have no idea who that is, made over $16.5 million in 2018. Logan, Paul, you may know him, made over $14 million. Both of these people and influencers around the world have more followers on social media than traditional celebrities everywhere, minus The Rock and Kevin Hart. Also, Kevin Hart, what's up? If you're watching this, what's up, bro? Let's, let's like hang out. I know we just finished filming the movie together, but that'd be sick. All right, it's the end of the day. The vlog's turning out epically. And I just want to say I'm probably going to be one of the best vloggers on YouTube. Biggest hyper in the world. You know what I'm saying? It's a big f***ing deal. And to be real, I'm probably going to be a better vlogger than this douchebag. Stop roasting me in this vlog. Seriously, dude. Put oh. the camera down, Tyler. Oh, sorry. Uh, bro, it's, it's a joke, dude. All you've been doing is saying that I'm f***ing not talented. Okay, well, you Got, you, I make use my girlfriend as clickbait for your last vlog. How about the fuck that? I make music, get millions of streams. I'm in movies. Oh, look at fuck. I make five hundred something music? vlogs. You did music and movies. You're a piece of bullshit. You're a piece of bullshit. Yeah, this is the voice of Shazad and Donkey King, not you. Uh, more like in Shazad and bullshit movie number one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, back to Toronto where you belong. How about go back to your ex when your vlogs were good? Oh yeah, the beginning of the vlog. You're you've been wondering this whole time. Okay, so uh, yeah, it all started with this really bad joke that I made about Mark's ex-girlfriend, and then, um, so he, so here we are, just, okay, this is how we ended up here. You're going to trap, bro! Yo, 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 Mark! You Mark, you're gonna be back! Get the fuck back! You're gonna be back! Get the fuck back! You're gonna be back! I want you to say it! It's not gonna work for me! It's not gonna work! Mark, I want you to say it, Mark! You look like the Joker! Get off of me! Say it! My vlogs are better, Mark! It's not gonna work for me! Say my vlogs are better! Fine, your vlogs are better! Yeah. Get off of me! You heard it here, folks! Get off My vlogs are better! The fuck? <sighs> Welcome back to the vlog. 2021's gonna be lit. <sighs> oh, f you, 2020. I actually <laughs> kicked you in the. <laughs> Yo, you hit like the top of my. Bro, you spit in my mouth. <laughs> so, why hasn't anybody created a show like this before? Well, to be frank, because traditional media and Hollywood has always thought of influencers as talentless hacks. I mean, they are. His words, not mine. So, how do we rectify this issue? How do we find somebody that can marry traditional media with social media? Old Hollywood with new Hollywood. We need a new hero, a new leading man to take the charge and be unafraid of calling bullshit where we see it. I know exactly who can do it. Who? Kevin Hart. Oh, You're Supposed to say me at the end of that. Oh. You know how many times we've shot this bullshit? I thought we were being realistic. Yeah, well. Dude gets one movie roll. Now we've reached the current stage of influencer evolution. I'm gonna push you back a little bit only because my feet are about to get wet. Where influencers are now more famous than A-list celebrities themselves, which is very confusing because we have no idea why they are famous. I mean, I don't know if I deserve half a billion followers for this, but you know, it's just, it, it is what it is. Anyways, let's, let's focus on what's important. We all wanna know what goes on behind the 
fucking camera. What goes on right here? Right, Tyler? Right. I mean, we got Saxon back there making TikToks. Look how pretty. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't have been better. We want to deconstruct and pull back the curtain to an already scripted format that's more scripted than a soap opera these days. Like these guys. That's what I was thinking. We want to take you on an authentic journey of what it's like to be inside of the vlog. We want to reveal the industry secrets to what the f*** is actually happening. I made a TV show out of it. This is it right now. It's called Vlogumentary. vlog you -entry. Except without the Vlogumentary. That's what this is. So first things first. We need money. Let's go find money. Now that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that felt like, as soon as I was saying it, I was like, I don't feel good anymore. This joke has gone too far. Oh, that was so good. <laughs>